Welcome to the second round, and today we've got the use of the people kombucha power exfoliating toner, and they are going up against the isn't tree green tea fresh toner. Is that what's called green tea fresh toner? I thought it was fresh green tea toner. Anyway, so these have a little bit different things going for them, but I'm gonna pick one that's better. So anyway, let me just say really quick, I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com. Check out my Patreon community or click on the Amazon link below. And be careful wherever you purchase things. Amazon, you just do your research. That's all I'm saying. So uh, let me just get right on to it. I, we've seen a lot of verses. These are two totally different toners that have two different total goals. One is really to exfoliate the skin. The other one is to calm skin and give it some good antioxidants and i've got to pick one to go on to the next round against uh, i believe it will be the ordinary glycolic toner so my first criteria is packaging and uh obviously not hugely fan of the clear glass bottle uh keep it in your cabinet when you're not using it just because the light can zap the good stuff uh isn't tree uses a an opaque plastic bottle which i prefer because it's opaque so for packaging, the isn't tree gets the point there pretty easily. Although it's like, do you punish a product for using a glass bottle? I don't know, but I got to make a call. So I'm going to make one. Okay, on my second criteria, which is alcohol. And uh, both of these products do not contain denatured or drying types of alcohol. That's always good to know. I saw Huda, Huda from Huda Beauty has coming out with her skincare line now. And I was excited because they said it was going to be great for sensitive skin. And uh, the first product that comes out, which I don't know if it's released yet, but it's up on their website, so I have to be notified to get it. Uh, it's got denatured alcohol as a fifth ingredient, and then there's all sorts of fragrance. So they always start with such good promises and get me excited, like, wow, there maybe will be something I can try. And uh, no. But that's just the first product. Maybe the rest of them will be awesome. We'll see. So where was I? On to fragrance, I believe. I could just talk about anything. Okay, so fragrance. Used to the People uh, contains lemon water, which gives it not much of a scent. More so, I think the lemon water gives this product its sticky finish. So if you plan to use it, absolutely plan on letting it dry and then applying a serum or moisturizer or something over it. Otherwise, it will leave a very unpleasant sticky texture, which will collect hair when, when it blows and everything. So you want to use something over it because it's just so sticky. Uh, the Isn't Tree has no fragrance. It has a very, very light scent of tea, obviously. Uh, so overall, for fragrance, Isn't Tree gets the point pretty easily there. It's a little bit of a bummer for the use to the people because they really didn't need to necessarily include that to make the product great. Instead, they made it sticky. Manufacturing location. So, Use to the People is made in the U.S. and Isn't Tree is made in Korea. No issues with either of those. So, that is another tie. Uh, ease of use. So, the Use to the People, you want to apply it to a cotton pad and then smooth it over your face. Don't rinse. And then continue on with your essence or serum. Absolutely do that. Don't make this the last product in your routine because your face will be so sticky. Uh, the Isn't Tree, you can apply it with a cotton pad, or you can just pat it onto your face, or you could also put it into a bottle with a mist on it and use it that way. So it's very multifunctional, I guess. But either way, both are very easy to use. No issues with either of those. So that's another tie. Now we start getting into the fun things, the beneficial ingredients. So you to the people's got arginine, lactic acid, glycolic acid, betaine, black tea ferment, and then lactobacillus ferment uh, probiotics. The isn't tree contains uh, green tea extract, ginkgo biloba, willow bark, centella asiatica, blueberry extract. Uh, then we've got pine sylvestrius extract. I don't know, which is an antioxidant. I just want to say Sylvester Stallone in there, but okay. And then we've got uh, Evening Primrose, Hyaluronic Acid, Olantlin, Licorice Root, and Hydroxyacetophenone. So overall for beneficial ingredients, the Isentree just has more. 
So they've got three lines of good stuff and the U to the People has one little line. So overall, it's got more antioxidants and skin soothing ingredients. However, the U to the People is more of an exfoliating thing. So it's not as big of an issue, especially since they're kind of for two different purposes. In terms of acneogenic ingredients, the U to the People... Uh, doesn't contain any ingredients of concern and is fungal acne safe. And the same can be said about the isentry as well. So that's another tie. I hate the ties. I don't know. I should have just made up something salacious so they wouldn't tie. Cruelty free, like I said yesterday in my last video, uh, all the final, final nominees, they're all cruelty free. These two are as well, so no issues with that. Performance. So the U to the People does a great job exfoliating skin. Certainly can help brighten skin up uh, with a couple nights of use. Uh, you won't need to use any other exfoliants in your routine. This one does it all. It works as well as a toner as well as an exfoliant. Uh, takes a few weeks of building up to daily use, so definitely start out slow. And uh, can be used daily after you build up to it. Or if you're new to exfoliants, absolutely start very slowly. Great for acne prone skin for many reasons, not just because it doesn't contain any ingredients that can cause breakouts and things like that, but the ingredients in the U to the People can certainly help prevent future breakouts by helping with pores, clean the dead surface flaky skin up, and things like that. So, really performs quite nicely. Uh, the Isn't Tree does a nice job refreshing skin. Uh, when you use it on a cotton pad, it helps kind of remove any leftover debris or dirt on your skin after cleansing. Leaves your skin feeling nice and soft, slightly more hydrated. Uh, I really like using it, uh, kind of patting onto skin as well. That's probably my favorite way to use it. Although a lot of people like to put it in a spray bottle and mist it on their skin between layers, between skincare layers in their routine. So overall, I think the U to the People just performs more impressively, probably because of its exfoliating toner. So that's why I gave them the point. It's just a little bit more impressive, but the Isn't Tree does a great job as well. So, uh, yeah. On to price. So these are both the full sizes, so this is where it gets a little depressing. The U to the People full size is 4 ounces, and it retails for $38. So that's always a little bit depressing. But a little bit can go a long way, so keep that in mind. And it kind of replaces an exfoliant, too. So, something to keep in mind. And then the Isn't Tree, this is 6.75 ounces, and it retails for $18, so more than half the price. So overall for price, Isn't Tree gets the point there. And then the last factor is the It Factor. Uh, the Use of the People is a nice, intriguing exfoliating toner. Uh, it's more powerful toner. It does a great job working as a toner. After cleansing, to help remove leftover dirt and debris and also manages to help exfoliate skin enough to where you won't need an additional exfoliating serum later on in your routine. Love that it doesn't contain denatured alcohol, although the sticky texture that it finishes up with is not the nicest. And the fact that they included lemon water, I'm not exactly excited about that either. Uh, those are, that's, I think the lemon water is the main miss there the, all the way around because i think if it didn't contain that lemon water it wouldn't have such a sticky finish although if you're using it with a full routine again it's not a big deal so uh isn't tree very affordable multi-functional toner can be used cotton pad padded on the skin with a mist refreshing hydrating helps balance skin after cleansing affordable fragrance free alcohol free cruelty free well packaged acne skin friendly so for the it factor I gave this one to Isn't Tree. And this one wasn't as close as I thought it was going to be. But just keep in mind, they're kind of two different type products. So the U to the People ended up getting six points. And Isn't Tree ended up with ten. So uh, this will be interesting. Isn't Tree will go on to the next category or the next round. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And then uh, my live finale... I'll announce more details about that soon as well. So uh, leave a comment with your guys' thoughts if you have any comments. Love hearing from you guys. Uh, stay tuned for more, and thank you so much.